Hey guys, I'm Deepthi Deskin. Today's video is going to be on my top 15 winter essentials. Now I've grouped these 15 into categories like skin, hair, makeup. Like I mentioned, there are 15. So let's get started. Before that, let me have some coffee. So first I'll be talking about essentials for the skin. So first up, it's going to be face wash. Now for face wash, I wanted to include something that is a little bit hydrating and I also wanted it to be affordable. So I have these two options. One is the Himalaya Herbals Moisturizing Aloe Vera Face Wash. It also has cucumber in it, so it's kind of very cooling on the face as well. It's really good. And after I use this, I feel like my skin has that very nice glowy effect. It's very moisturizing and it doesn't look dry when I use this one. This retails for 60 rupees for 50 ml of product. It's the same that goes with this Olay Foaming Cleanser as well. Though it's mentioned that it removes excess oil, I don't feel like it dries my skin out. And it's also mentioned that it doesn't over dry the skin so i feel all those things are true in this one and this has 50 gram of product and this retails for 140 rupees so the next one i'm going to be talking about is moisturizer and for moisturizer i like to use these two this is the keels ultra facial cream this retails for rupees 2500 for 50 ml of product this is amazing under makeup it's very moisturizing and even if you have like a really matte finish foundation you can use this underneath it and it doesn't look cakey or dry and it applies really well and glowy i like to use this every time i use this l'oreal infallible foundation this is like a matte foundation so it doesn't look very dry when i use this moisturizer otherwise this can get a little cakey if i don't use the right moisturizer so i do like to use this underneath this one and now for something more affordable i also like this cetaphil daily advanced ultra hydrating lotion this is for dry to very dry skin so it's non-greasy it's fragrance free and if you have sensitive skin i think this is a good option although this is not mentioned that it can be used on the face it's supposed to be for the body i like to use it for the face it also has glycerin in it i think that kind of helps in prolonging the makeup as well so it kind of acts like a moisturizing primer when i use this one and i do really like this this retails for around 150 rupees for 30 gram of product and i highly recommend this i use this on my face and body so now moving on to sunscreen i again have two options i like to use this keels ultra light daily uv sunscreen this has spf of 50 in it sometimes i don't even use moisturizer i just use this it's very creamy it's very light on the face and it's very moisturizing for my skin which is normal and for something more affordable I also mentioned this in my summer essentials I think. This is the sun coat gel. This has SPF of 30 in it. This is again very creamy and very light on the face but this doesn't layer well with makeup so I use this only on days when I don't use makeup which is okay for me because I don't wear makeup on an everyday basis so I do like this as well and this retails for uh, I don't remember this I don't remember the price of this I will list it down in the description box and the keels one retails for 1700 rupees and you get 30 ml of product in this and i think it's more than enough i've been using this for a really long time i think it's a good investment so now moving on to hair usually i prefer a good hydrating shampoo for my hair but i've been testing out a lot of shampoo and i don't really like anything that much so i'm not going to be recommending anything and if you guys know any hydrating shampoo do recommend it to me because i'm still looking out for something that can hydrate and not cause any flakiness and dandruff on my hair and also something that doesn't strip the moisture off because i have color treated hair other than shampoo i do have some hair recommendations right after i wash my hair i sometimes like to use a combination of these two this is the vella professional hair serum this retails for 475 rupees for 40 ml of product this is a system professional volumized leave-in conditioner and this retails for 895 rupees for 150 ml of product now this has parabens in it so i don't like to use it very often only when i feel like my hair is really dry and it can use some leave-in condition i use this but i like to use these two in combination i use both of these just to the ends of my hair and i feel like it makes such an amazing difference on my hair i don't know if you guys can tell on camera but if you check out my um nika haul video you can see that my hair is really shiny it's because of these two it's very nice and it kind of avoids all the frizz the dryness it gives a really nice texture smooth and silky hair when i use these two but i don't really do that very often just once in a while and the system professional is again a vela product these vela products are widely available at most of the hair salons so you can check it out and these last for the longest time you need very 
very little of this for your hair now moving on to something that's a lot more organic and natural i picked up these two things from this online store called juicy chemistry they have a lot of organic skincare and hair care products so this is cold pressed argan oil now argan oil is a really good conditioner and you can use it on your hair and your skin i just take like about two drops of this and use it to the ends of my hair this retails for 350 rupees for 30 grams of product so if you use very little quantity of this it won't make your hair look really oily and greasy so it comes with like a stopper like this and it's good to even mix this with your foundation or just apply it on your face as well and now moving on to this organic leave in conditioner this has amla apricot in it now this one is a little too thick for my hair because it's not very dry and not very frizzy but if you have this really frizzy curly hair then i think you would really like this because it's very moisturizing for that kind of hair and i think it would control the frizz and keep it in place and not make your hair a lot more wild and this has like a really strong scent to it like lemon and a lot of other things but it has very good ingredients to it it has apricot kernel oil argan oil amla oil and a lot of other good essential oils in this if you have dry frizzy hair you might want to check this out and this retails for 350 rupees for 25 grams of product you can order it from the site called juicy chemistry i will leave the link of that site in the description box below and i don't think they have cod i think you have to use your card which is good right now that we are trying to be a cashless economy it's good to use a debit card moving on to body care i used the soap in glory shower gel that was good for the summer months though it comes with like a built in moisturizer i feel like it's too dry for the winter months and it kind of strips off all the moisture from my skin and that's the reason i went ahead and bought this doxitan almond shower oil this retails for 610 rupees for 75 ml i know it's really expensive given the quantity of this but oh my god it's such an amazing feel like all this while i was thinking that the soap and glory shower gel is the most luxurious bath product that i've ever owned but no 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 this beat that to the punch it smells amazing it smells like almond ah it smells like sweet almond something like cookies or some candies and it looks like it's an oil but when you start applying it on your skin and if you take a loofah or just your hands and just start rubbing it in it starts foaming up and it's the most luxurious feeling that you would ever have it's amazing but i do really like this and i highly recommend you checking this out and at least just give it a sniff if you can you would have never smelled anything like this one and now coming to what it actually does rather than just describing about the scent it's very very moisturizing on the skin but i wouldn't say that during the winter months you can skip your moisturizer or anything like that if you have very dry skin but it's a lot more moisturizing than most of the shower gels that i have used and it's really nice it's amazing on the skin and it keeps it really soft and nourish and you do smell of this for quite some time like after you shower with this and come out people are going to ask you what did you use your bathroom would smell of it you would smell of it although i would like to mention that if you have really a uh, strong body odor well, this will not be helpful to mask it so you have to take care of that through probably like deodorants or roll ons or probably even lime and i highly recommend this now coming to some body lotion like i mentioned i like to use the cetaphil ultra hydrating lotion because it's ultra hydrating it kind of takes care of all the dry skin and the dry patches on my body during winter times my hands and legs get really dry where to the extent where it gets really like white texture on it and this takes care of that and if you have any sort of allergy as well i think it's a lot safer to use something like this which has no fragrance and something that is supposed to be meant for sensitive skin but i also like to use the body shop body butter this is in the strawberry variant i've been using this for the longest time and i'm waiting to get rid of all this because i've been using it for the longest time and i've got to used to the scent that i want to try out some new scent but this is very good and it's very moisturizing and just this one tub i think would last you for 2 years this retails for 1095 rupees for 200 ml and the only thing is that you have to scoop it out i think a lot of people would have a problem with that because it's not like this one where you can just squeeze it out this you have to put your hand in and scoop it out and this does help in again with those dry patchy areas and that very dry skin on the body and the body shop body butters in general smell amazing you might want to give some of them a sniff if you don't really like strawberry scented stuff 
they have a lot of other things as well you might want to check that out so now moving on to lip care i do recommend checking out the neutrogena lip balm the one that i mentioned in my summer essentials as well i do still use it for the winter time and i think it does an amazing job i just don't have it to show to you guys because it's in some bag and i don't know which bag it is in it retails for around 190 rupees but if you have very very dry chapped lips i don't know how that works on that i have also been trying out this biotic bio aloe vera nourishing lip balm this has spf of 30 in it because it's got aloe vera in it and it said nourishing that's the reason i bought this and i do feel like it does nourish the lips it kind of moisturizes the lip pretty well but that happens only for a very short span of time after a while I feel like my lips get really dry. I don't know if it's naturally happening because of the weather conditions or if this is making it all the more dry. I'm not able to figure it out, but I do know that a lot of people really like this one and this is really inexpensive as well. I think it was less than 200 rupees. I'm pretty sure it was. Who feels like it's very moisturizing in the beginning, but towards the end of the day it gets really dry. That does happen with me even when I don't use a lip balm, so I don't know. I really don't know. what the problem is so now moving on to some makeup i wouldn't say makeup is essentials but i just want to mention and give you guys some options as well because i think these kind of things like skin care hair and body care stuff that is a lot more essential than makeup just like the summer months i don't really like using like foundation or something like that on an everyday basis i do use it when i feel like but i don't think it's an essential for me but what i do like doing is using a concealer underneath my eyes and just spreading that towards the rest of my face i have done the same thing in a tutorial as well i think that is my simple everyday makeup tutorial that's pretty much what i like to do so for that i do really like this la girl pro conceal hd concealer i'm in the shade medium beige and i think this is the right shade for me or probably a little bit dark but i don't really mind that but i don't really like concealers that are really light because then it doesn't conceal it so this concealer retails for around 500 rupees and this again provides really good coverage it is pretty comparable to the mac pro long wear concealer and this doesn't provide as much coverage for me as the mac pro long wear but it is pretty close and again this has a very nice like dewy effect on the skin when you just use this one on its own so that's what i want during winter months i don't want to look matte and this la girl pro concealer comes in a wide variety of colors so be whatever skin tone whatever shade you are you will find something that would match you perfectly so now moving on to some lipsticks i have done a whole other video on my top 10 lipsticks for the fall and winter season do check that out in that video it's like top 10 favorites in the order of how i like it so these pretty much fair at the top so this is a colourpop matte x lippy stick in the shade chateau and this is the shambour extreme wear transfer proof liquid lipstick in the shade 484 truffle so because i have mentioned about this so many times and i have spoken about it so many times in my video i just don't want to go in depth so i won't go on and on about it the shades are amazing it goes really well with this time of the year the shambo one retails for around 845 rupees and this retails for 6 dollars on the colourpop website so now moving on to eyes i do like using black eyeliner all the time but when i just want a little bit of change and i and my mood seeks for something a little more colorful i grab these these three are the la girl gel glide on eyeliner this is in the shade gypsy teal this is in the shade dark brown which is again really nice if you want to just smudge it on your lower lash line this is in the shade black amethyst this is a really dark purple shade these eyeliners are really good on the waterline these last a really long time and they have like a gel texture to it so it sticks on and once it's set it's set for a really good amount of time i also have another more affordable option because these retail for around 495 rupees this retails for just 245 rupees this is from shambo this is the ultra glide eyeliner pencil and this is in the shade purple haze this again is a nice purple shade like let me swatch it with the black amethyst shade like this black amethyst has a little bit of black and a little bit of purple and it's a little glittery whereas this is a lot more matte and deep up i really like this on the waterline although it's not as pigmented as the la girl one is but i do really like it and it's an affordable option so now moving on to some nail polish favorites these two are from faces this is in the shade 19 purple rain and this is in the shade 28 mysterious this is like a green shade somewhat like a leafy green shade i do really like this this is in the shade purple rain and it's a very nice pinky mauvey purpley shade so then i also have something from maybelline this is from the color show range and this is in the shade crazy berry again a deep purple shade 
looks amazing on the nails i do find that this is a lot difficult in terms of application and again this also doesn't last really long on my nails but this was really inexpensive this was for around 85 rupees so and then i have two nika nail paints this is in the shade blue raspberry and this is in the shade midnight craving i did mention about these nail paints in my nika nail paint review and swatches video this is a very nice deep blue shade perfect for this time of the year this reminds me of christmas night like i mentioned in that video and it applies really patchy but just because of this shade i'm willing to see past that and then this one is in the shade blue raspberry this is blue with a little bit of purple to it and for me it's a unique shade i've never seen anything like this before and it looks so nice on the nails so these five are my absolute winter favorites so now moving on to some fashion i wouldn't call it, yeah now winter is my favorite time of the year i enjoy it but one thing that i really fear is getting cold and it's not just anything that gets cold it's my feet that gets really really freezing cold so i always keep looking out for socks and stuff like that that can keep my feet warm and i picked this one up from moji it's really long as well i do have another pair in case you were wondering i don't like those ankle socks for this time of the year i want it to be a socks come a leg warmer so that's the reason i use this it's not completely keeping my feet warm but it's a lot better than using socks from forever 21 and all that and now moving on i did pick this up from marks and spencer this is like their shine tights which is like those tights that you wear under dresses and that would cover your toes and cover up your feet as well this is very sheer and it doesn't really warm up during the winter time but it's great if you're not really cold if you're not that person who would get really cold but you're looking for something that can cover up your leg for dresses i think this would be a really nice one this comes in a pack of three and this retails for 4.99 rupees which i think is a good deal and if you want something a lot more warm i picked this one up from forever 21 this is a lot more thicker it's not as sheer as that one is again this one keeps your feet really warm and it's really nice but this was pretty expensive this was around 800 rupees but back then when i picked it up there were not many stores that would sell this but now i think you can find it at h&m and forever 21 they have even those socks that go way above the knee like the one carrie bradshaw wears in sex and the city those again look really nice and they make a very good fashion statement so that's pretty much it i know it was a really long one i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did Please don't forget to like this video and also hit that subscribe button. It would appear on the screen as well. There's an arrow pointing towards my YouTube profile picture. If you click on it, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you are already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you click on that bell icon right next to the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you're notified every time I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.